I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my holiday special show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. From now until the end of the year, I'm going to be posting a lot of holiday videos for appetizers, desserts, or main dishes, all right? So stay tuned. Today's all about pecan ball cookies. All right, y'all. I grew up with these from as far back as I can remember. Every Christmas we've had pecan balls, and my mom would make dozens and dozens and dozens of these and hand them out to everyone she knew, all right? So I got her recipe, <laughs> and I'm going to give it to you, all right? And I'm going to be making like four dozen of these out of this recipe, all right? So we're going to get started. Now what I have here, and it's really simple, y'all. It couldn't be any simpler or easier. You know my motto, simple, easy, and delicious, all right? So we're going to be using pecans, pecans here. We have flour, um, sugar, and we're going to be using margarine here and some confectioner sugar. Y'all, that is it, all right? And we're going to be using a hand mixer, or you can mix it by hand. All right, y'all, we're going to get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is open up our pecans here. <laughs> all right. So, I have chopped pecans here, and if you're using whole pecans, half pecans, or like um, pieces here, what we're going to do is put these into a food processor here and just kind of um, pulp, grind these down a little more. Now, we don't want dust, alright, so we've got to be really careful when we do this. So, I'm going to put two cups of pecans into my processor here. Well, we'll just use the whole thing. All right, there we go. So we're going to put these in here. All right, so as you can see how big these pieces are, we can't roll balls with these, so we're going to try to break these down even further. So I'm just going to pulse. All right, I'm going to take some out so y'all can look at them. That is what we're looking for right there. See all the little pieces? Now we can roll these and that's perfectly fine. All right. All right, our next step is we want to sift two cups of flour. All right, there we go. All right, to my sifted flour, I'm gonna add one cup of softened butter here. So this was room temperature. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. All right, so I'm gonna start on low with this and ramp it up until we get a nice smooth consistency. Oh yeah, you can see that that is pushing together really well. All right, so now what we're going to do is add our chopped pecans. And we're going to mix well. All right, now if you can see the consistency of this, all right, and it's all butter in there. So what we're going to do is I have my pans ready, and I have my oven is preheating at 300 degrees, low and slow, y'all, because we don't want the butter to just kind of melt out of these, okay? So, and you don't want a greased pan, so what we're using is parchment paper, or you can use silv mat, or you can use a pan that is non-stick. 
All right, so I'm using a tablespoon here measure, and all I'm doing is just scooping some up like that, and I'm going to put it into the palm of my hand. And what we're going to do is just form it like that. And we're going to form it into a ball, just like that. And then we're going to lay them on the pan like that. Y'all squeeze them together, but you don't want them touching because you want the heat to go around, around the cookies, all right? So we're going to start making these. All right, y'all, these are my favorite cookies of all time. <laughs> I'm telling you, from the beginning of time, I knew what these were, and I love these cookies, so. Mm. All right, y'all, you know, there's so many that you can make with this right here, but get your kids involved. They would love to make these, right? All you have to do is just squish some dough together. <laughs> oh, yeah, get everybody in the family involved to make these. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these after we make these. Alright y'all, as you can look at this, I'm pushing these all together on the pan. They're not touching. And look how many I've got on there, y'all. I'm going to get the, all of these on my pan here, which is good. <laughs> I think I got two more ready to be made here. All right, y'all. So these made, I counted 57 pecan balls out of that dough that I just used. All right, so let me make sure I don't have any powder on me. These are going to go in the oven that I preheated at 300 degrees because we're going to cook these at a low temperature for 45 minutes. All right, so I'm going to see y'all back here. All right, y'all, so I've got about 10 minutes left on my cookies. Now, since we're gonna be rolling them as soon as they come out of the oven, nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and start making my mixture here. Then we're gonna roll them in. Now, I've got half a cup of granulated sugar and I got one cup of a confectioner's sugar and I'm just gonna mix those together. All right, y'all, so I just pulled these out of the oven. And I actually, I tested one about one minute ago, and he's in there right there, all powdered up. <laughs> so while these are hot, you want to like stick a few in, into your powdered sugar mixture that we made earlier. And then just kind of roll them around. And then you want to put them in whatever container you want to put them in. So I'm just going to knock some of that flour off. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and knock some of that sugar off and put it into my container there. Oh mm, gosh, my gosh, they smell so delicious, y'all. All right. So you want to do this while they're hot so that sugar clings to the cookie. All right, so I'm doing the last two here. All right, all right, y'all, look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my gosh, I'm ready to eat one and dive in. Now I have some in here. Give these as a gift, just line the bottom here. Look at this little nice pan that I found, a little tin here. I found this at Kroger, cute, right? All right, nice little gift tin there. And then we have these in here. All right, so I have all of my pecan balls where I want them in my containers here, in a, a container that would be nice to give to somebody for, as a Christmas gift, or you could take it to a party like this, or just, hey, you know, put a lid on it, your own house, there you go. All right, I got some right here because I'm not gonna go without trying one, y'all. So I'm gonna pick one up here. Mmm. Mmm. All right, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. It's so good. Mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> there you go.
What can I say? Pecan balls. We need to make these. Remember, they, I made about 57 of them out of that just that one batch right there. All right. Y'all, thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you comment down below and give me a thumbs up. If you're as new, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. Y'all remember, this is a Christmas show, and I have many more to come through all of December also. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode.